Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. The topic of discussion today is going to be highly focused towards gate examination aspirants. I know that I've been making a lot of videos on general topics lately like Pomodoro technique, memory palace technique and art of planning and all that but this one is going to be highly focused towards gate examination but i will say though that this is going to be helpful for in general any student who is going to appear for any competitive examination because a lot of tips over here or the mistakes made over here are going to be generalized without wasting any time i'm going to be discussing three important mistakes that you should never commit in the last two months these are based on the experiences that i've had for preparing for three years and appearing in dozens of examination and guiding thousands of people for the last two years through this youtube channel i'm going to discuss the number three technique uh, mistake first then number two and then number one because i want you guys to go through all of them but in general i'm saying that if you're watching any of my videos which is focused towards examinations please do not watch it partially i'm not saying this for me obviously retention helps me but it is going to be more dangerous if you watch my videos partially because partial knowledge is definitely more dangerous than no knowledge so let us begin number three giving up mentality at the last moment now fear of failure is real and self-doubt is very very natural at this stage i know what you might be thinking that i made this mistake i wasted time over there nobody's preparation is perfect the rank one in any competitive examination i bet you even that person had this mentality at some point or the other but you need to understand that no one can be perfect and whatever you did you did your best and now it is time to do better you have to learn from your past experiences and it is time for you to utilize that and move in the forward direction with front foot ahead. So right now what you need to do is control the last two months with positive attitude, focus on revision, focus on test series, focus on completing the small topics that are left because in December you can still do that. Try to do the best that you can do and nobody can give their 100% in any examination. Even if you pick the toppers, that person would have said before that person actually knew that that person turned out to be a topper, that person could have used more time. When I got All India rank of four in ISRO in 2018, before the day of the examination, I was panicking. Before one month before the examination, I was panicking. Every now and then the this fluctuation happens and it is your responsibility to deal with it. This is, think of it like a barrier to your success because this is also a hurdle that you need to cross and it is offered to everyone just it's just that some people are ab able to overcome that and some people are not able to do that second one you are going to love it because we have all faced this comparing yourself with others a lot of you guys might have started giving test series now and you all have friends who are also preparing for competitive examination in the same domain and they are giving test series also and it is literally impossible for both of you guys to score equally now you compare yourself whether you perform better than your friend or you perform worse than your friend. Both are going to hurt you. If you perform better than your friend and if that is supposed to make you happy, then you are not going to work as hard as you should. And if you perform lower than that, then you are going to get depressed. And then again, you're not going to be able to work as hard as you should. So in any case, you should not compare. You guys are not having starting point as same. You guys started at some place or the other different Someone else is having different ability, you are having some different abilities and some people take time to become better at giving test series or giving the examination or solving numericals. Maybe you are better at learning concepts. So it is your responsibility right now to invest time in that. So no matter what you do, there's always going to be people above you and there are going to be people below you as well. I would say look at neither. A lot of people will be saying that look at people below you, but not really because you keep on looking at them and sooner you are going to be a part of them. Okay, neither. You should look at two people who are ahead of you. You can get inspired. Let us say your friend is working extremely hard and is scoring very good marks and getting very good rank in test series. But still, you can only use that person as an inspiration. Look at that person, how hard that person is working. And there might be a lot of people who is not even working hard and are getting very good ranks in their test series. But then again, test series is not a correct judgment of your rank or your position. So ultimately, what you are going to score or where you are going to lie on the day of the gate examination is only going to be decided by gate examination. There's no correct litmus test. But yes, test series is only there for you to give practice and learn how to deal with so many questions in limited amount of time. That is what test series is there for and use it only for that.
do not use it for comparison this is the only thing that you should monitor that you should find improvements in the subsequent test series if you are getting that then you are doing correctly and that you can do by analyzing the test series properly i'll put the link of the test series analysis video down in the description box and you can go through it that will definitely give you improvement now speaking of test series unacademy has sponsored this video and it has brought yet again again a free test series also a lot of prizes if you become the topper over there, three students so far of my follower or subscriber on this channel has won prizes under 15, under 10 rank in I UPL, they called it and Gate of Thrones. Yeah, these were the names and they've won and they've got the voucher as the price, Amazon voucher. The prizes are rising up to 5,000. So let us talk about that. Pay attention to the screen now. So as you can see over here, the test is going to be on 22nd November and uh, the tests are live. So you'll have to appear on the time later. If you appear, then you won't be getting the All India ranking and you won't be eligible for prizes. And these are available for all the branches, mechanical, civil, electrical, computer science and IT and electronics and communication. These are set by top faculties like Praveen Kulkarni sir, Jaspal Singh sir. And you can go over there, click on enroll, put your phone number down and you are done. Just appear for the test. The prices are rupees 5000 for rank 1 to 5, rupees 3300 for ranking 6 to 10 and rupees 1650 for ranking 11 to 15. So enroll over there and appear on 22nd November. So a lot of gate aspirants might be thinking that how can this benefit you? See, there are a lot of one mark question in gate examination. And I've always said that engineering services, prelims examination, papers, uh, ISRO questions, and a lot of PSU questions will be helping you because you'll be able to solve those questions very fast. And you can see there are some revision courses also available. The classes are taken by top faculties like Praveen Kulkarni sir, available in all the branches civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering computer science and it and electro electronics and communication right so go over there i'll leave all the link down in the description box and thanks to unacademy for providing these materials for free let us get back to the video the last and the most important one number one mistake that most people make is related to not pushing hard enough in the last moment I know what you might be feeling in the last moment. I've done sufficiently. I've worked extremely hard. Now everything is getting hazy and maybe it happens with everyone. It is time for me to relax. Maybe you're not feeling it right now, but definitely one week before the examination or one day before the examination or even one month before the examination, you might start to feel like that. I want you to push harder at that moment. And it took me more than two years in the last attempt of my ISRO where I qualified finally. That's when I understood that it gives you a mental edge if you work extremely hard in the last moment and you should not miss any single second that you are having. You should, you should utilize everything that you have. Now, with that said, I know that a lot of you guys would be having issue of sleep deprivation because you might be sleeping only six hours, seven hours, or sometimes even less for the past five to six months. That creates sleep depth and that has to be filled and recovered. And in the last month, you should be sleeping for seven to eight hours at least. And rest of the time that you're having, that should be 100% invested for you working hard. Use every last energy that you can have. Study whatever you need, whatever is left. Try to cover everything that gives you a mental boost. So it is very important for you to work extremely hard in the last moment. A lot of people work extremely hard for four to five months. And then in the last moment, they re relax that is in turn going to hurt them so i don't want that to happen to you and i don't want you to fail for two years to finally understand that you have to work extremely hard till the last moment so do that 12 hours before the examination you can leave your studies but other than that keep on working keep on utilizing time that is definitely going to give you a mental boost that you can utilize all right guys that's about it for the video i hope that you are not going to repeat the three mistakes that i mentioned over here special thanks to one academy for sponsoring this video and for giving free test series to students and revision material i'll leave all the link down in the description box so that you can go and check it out also you have the opportunity to win some prizes so go ahead and raise the talk flag a little bit higher my second youtube channel ashish ranjan is focused on personality development and rocket science these days i'm focusing more attention towards that so you can go ahead and check it out i'll also leave the link in the description box for that as well i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye